Hi, I'm Kathy with the Delphio Quilt Company. Today I've got a little bit different kind of quilt project to share with you, and that is this quilt design wall behind me. There's a lot of great quilt design walls out there. I wanted something a little different though that didn't really look like it was just for quilt designing, but kind of looked more of like an art piece for my sewing room. If you're not sure what a quilt design wall is, it's basically just a tool that quilters like to use so that we can lay out our blocks, order them differently, and just kind of get a sense of what the quilt's going to look like when it's sewn together. So prior to having this wall, I had this removable temporary quilt design wall, but I wanted something that looked a little more like an art piece versus a basically shower curtain look that I had on my wall previously. No offense to this, it works perfectly fine. I just wanted a different look for my sewing room. So one thing I did have to give up with the design wall was the clingable feature. My temporary wall had that. It kind of had like a felt on felt kind of impact when you put your quilt block up there, it just kind of cling to it. This does not have that. So if you're looking for a wall that you can cling your blocks on without having to pin them, this is not the option. I was okay with that though. Uh, pinning to me is not that big of a deal. And so that wasn't a deal breaker for me. I did purchase this wall from Felt Right. They're not sponsoring this video. Uh, probably don't even know I'm making the video, but I wanted to just share it just in case you had kind of the same issues I had with your design walls and want something that looks a little bit different. So I ended up going with Felt Right because they actually had an image of this quilt block on their website. They had different colors, but it was the same block and I just loved it. I loved how it looked in the space that they had on the image. I also liked that they had a lot of options. They had these half square triangles, they had squares, they had hexagons, diamonds, you name it. They had just about every shape I could think of, which I thought was really in line with a lot of the shapes we use as quilters. So as far as price goes, this was about $287. That is a bit of an investment, so at least it, I consider it to be a bit of an investment. But I felt like the quality was worth it and the options that they had made it worth it as well. I did find a coupon, so that was after the coupon code, so I would suggest if you are looking for this option that you wait for their sales or try to get a coupon code to bring down that price a little bit. Prior to ordering this though, I did do an order for their sampler box. And I did that because I've never ordered from this company and I wasn't quite sure of what the colors would look like and what the thickness would be of the tiles. This is actually pretty reasonable. I think it was $35 and I'm going to try to show this without tipping the whole box over. But you get a variety of colors. So you get all of their colors that they have available to you. And it's really nice because this is the actual tiles, the thickness and everything that you would get in this design. So I use that to kind of pick out my colors in the back. And I can actually use these if I want to make a smaller board. At some point, I'll probably put a smaller board somewhere and just have another option. So on their website, they'll give you dimension of the tiles. They are very true to the dimensions that they share, which was good for this wall because as you can see, I am trim piece to trim piece. And if it didn't come in true to size, I would have been in a little bit of trouble. So it definitely fits the size that they specify. It was really easy to put this wall up. I started with a level line going horizontal and one going vertical. And it took me probably about an hour to put them all up. The tiles come with essentially 3M strips that you use on the back of the tiles to stick them up. I did find that they hold up pretty well. This has been up for a few months. And they also come down as well and they're removable without any damage to your walls. At least I didn't have any damage. I had a few blocks I had turned the wrong way and had to reposition and I had no problem doing that. And at the end, I'll show you how it all came together so you can see how quickly and easily it happens. Now, when you're using the wall, I would recommend using some very strong pins. I would stay away from those super fine pins like the magic pins, which are great pins for piecing blocks, but not so great for pinning to this board. I did find that my, my old sturdy pins work the best. Um, they're even a little dull, but they work just fine in this. So I've been using this wall for about three months and so far I love it. It also helps with dampening sound a little bit, so which is really nice when I'm doing videos. It's also really simple to clean. I just use a lint roller to get all the extra little threads off. The only thing that I would do differently about this design board is my color choices. Although I love these colors and it adds a really nice uh, pop of color for this room, I'm finding that the colors distract a little bit from my quilt projects. I'll probably stick with this one for a while, but eventually I might switch some of the, the strong colors out and go with more of a neutral color. 
It's very easy to order tiles on this website. So I, I don't think there'll be any issue with me doing that down the road. And they're also removable, so I'm not really worried about taking them down and putting the new ones up. But I would recommend, if you're going to do this, that maybe you go with a more neutral palette for your quilt plaque. So hopefully you found this video helpful and it gave you some ideas of a different kind of design wall. Now let's see how it came together.